Okay, my friends, January the 2nd, 2019. It is Happy New Year, wherever you are. I wish you a Happy New Year. All the best in 2019. In this video, I will be discussing some issues about intelligence communities. Uh, people I interact with here at this place, people I have interacted with, let's say in Budapest and so on. Um, that's the kind of stuff I would like to discuss. I like to discuss my view on them, uh, my conduct in a society, how I view the whole thing as in respect to these people. This isn't my choice, whatever. This is how I am compelled in, in a situation. And uh, basically on general views for you to understand uh, in which direction this whole thing is moving, uh, what's going on. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to point out exactly what you see right there. You don't see any lights. Believe me, this is with the reason there are, what, two lights here that are in this, in this whole gym. Uh, probably they want me to look, I don't know, as anxious, as anxiety, something like this. This video is, re uh, is redone. I have done this already in the morning. And there's quite a few issues I want to add to this video. I was not done well enough, uh, and uh, boy, uh, they knew about this video, that I'm coming up with this video, because they have prepared the whole scenario uh, for me to come up with this video, and I realized just how much they want this video, because today, whenever I would walk to the facility, or would come back to the facility, or whatever, I would get to see uh, an individual uh, it's a police officer from Minsk. Uh, pretty much everywhere I would see him. From the morning when it all started, all the way, whenever I would go inside of the building, wherever I would go, he would be there, right there. Everywhere would be. And, wow, uh, you go from the upper floor to lower floor, you go to the kitchen, the doors open, and there he is walking right in front of you. Or... You go out and boom, doors open and there he is again walking right in front of you and back and forth and stuff like that. No, this is, this is real. Uh, definitely they know uh, a lot about uh, the stuff I do here and uh, where I move, what I do. And uh, it also involves uh, like a little incident that took place earlier this morning. I'd like to discuss, so I would not leave any people confused in respect to that, like a little uh, incident, okay. Uh, so this is the first thing I'm going to discuss, and then the second part, second part, uh, first will be this little incident, how it all happened, how they prepared, and the second part I would go, I'm going to give the view on, or maybe before that, on, on intelligence community, I should before, and in the third part I'm going to, I'm going to give a few words about how Americans, I'm going to do some really interesting stuff about uh, MK Ultra. How uh, Mr. Valerio, it's about Mr. Valerio. Mr. Valerio is professional. This is a, this is a career man, KGB career man, who made his career uh, first as a police officer and second as a professional, MK Ultra professional. He was trained, this was one of the people earliest people involved in MK Ultra, uh, Minsk, this is in Belarus, and he would quite frequently visit with a Belarus with a Russian delegation. Uh, he would become a trainer of uh, people that are employed in the field of psychology, psychiatry in Belarus and also in Russia. Belarus, Russia, this is just... Um, very much related, uh, you could say the same thing, really. Um, something I was also prompted about by Americans, that I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Uh, but there was a lot, the whole a lot of panic they have created uh, in respect to this gentleman. Uh, and a few last days that I spent here, I, as you know, I was deprived of sleep big time. Uh, just, just not right, really. Uh, and stuff like this happens. What they do is they deprive you of the sleep. 
Then what they do is one night they let you sleep. But that night when you get to sleep, they borrow your backpack and uh, see a little bit inside of the backpack, your belongings. They, they go over your stuff to see what's going on with you, what you have not. Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of other issues they have prepared because this whole thing really is nothing else than, uh, well, the MK Ultra was just rehearsal of, of uh, reality. This was just, uh, the MK Ultra was just used uh, as a preliminary tool. Uh, I should say, this here is rehearsal of MK Ultra, really. And they were very detailed about this stuff. And so let's see how they prepared this stuff. This stuff started even somehow simultaneously parallel to this uh, sleep deprivation. Uh, when I have an individual here knows this place very well, uh, that would, we would get, um, um, how would I say meet? I wouldn't say meet, but we met and we discussed a little bit things and uh individual mentioned how people disappeared from here uh i wouldn't even go into further details because i wouldn't want to expose anything about this individual this is the first thing um this i would not do um but it was a lot it involved uh, this is just sad enough i don't want to go any further with this stuff um and the word was about uh, Mr. Valerio. Um, since who is in the center, and we talked about these people know from here, from Grotniki, Mr. Valerio have a lots of, um, and friends, and some people that don't love him so much. So he's got all kinds, so he's got a whole specter of the people. Okay, some people really uh, <laughs> like him for whatever issues, and others do not. Um, I don't know really what, uh, how many now still think the same as they did in, um, you know, in 2005, 2006, when I was like a really, really bad boy, a bad guy. Uh, and that's really a questionable thing. However, it's also questionable for this intelligence community. Uh, with whom I tend to uh, socialize. I tend to interact in a settings to which I am practically confined to. Like, let's say, if I would have a choice, uh, I would not. I would not really go about, uh, you know, meeting people like this. Um, but since I don't have one, since I am obligated to stay in this place like it or not uh, I don't have the ability to go in a private or whatever uh, I'm basically left with no choice but to um, you know, <laughs> communicate with them as long as they're not as long as there's no violence element present um, any kind of situations like that uh, I actually don't even mind uh, to interact with them I did interact it with uh, before that, with the Rostislav from Volgograd, that was another KGB guy. Uh, I interacted in, in Budapest with, with um, even with Masad. Uh, I met them, they, I mean, they met me. And, you know, as long as you're, you're in the same hostel, you pay the bill and you don't have a place to go and... Uh, what uh, what is left for you to do other than uh, to be nice with these people to um, to talk maybe if they're open-minded um, they can only help you out with it uh, if like I said back then nobody knew about who Putin was nobody knew about Donald Trump nobody knew about these people uh, now, however, they do know. Now people know. Now people get to meet me. They get to read stuff I write. They get to meet real me. They get to know what I have gone through in my life and so on. And sometimes these people just help you out. Sometimes they just give you a good tip. Uh, they signal you. They help you out, you know, with certain things. Uh, which, under different circumstances, you would not 
uh, experience if you would be just dismissive and just uh, do not want uh, to uh, to be anywhere near them uh, and stuff like this uh, be angry and it's really bad for you it, it would your case could be misrepresented uh, different in all kinds of forms uh, it doesn't do any good really it doesn't really do any good so if, if you only can do about that's how I see it then you go in a friendly manner with these people even like this but then again as, like as I have stated no um, something that I have to answer uh, something that I have to voice something that I have to accent and it's something Americans that were very concerned for me uh, they keep insisting on my on my uh, voice in this issue is that uh, under no circumstances would I go and uh, really associate with any of these people uh, outside of the center uh, anywhere for this matter because the thing is I don't have the reason to really I would not go and be a drink buddy or whatever uh, there really is no reason for me to do any of that kind of stuff um, for me and you know I socialize I do that stuff because it's more important than to um, I don't know to be frustrated to be irritated to be uh, whatever you want to call even if you experience stuff like I did here it's more important to be concerned with what you want out of it where you're taking the whole thing what you want to get out of it what your goals are this is what you should be concentrated you should be basically self-assured self-secured um, and that's the kind of stuff that really matters to me this is how I see the things as getting in a conflict and stuff like this wow nothing intelligence communities are just as divided these days uh, kind of a worldwide just as the countries are there's all kinds of stuff happening if anything you can you can people like this they can maybe you know they get to know you they they may actually give you a tip or two or something like this help you out that's all there is to it okay other than that uh, no only through the court uh, that's all I need that's all I need uh, and that's probably all I ever will need uh, unless I'm gonna come a public person a politician wherever then I would meet with these people uh, even behind the closed doors and discuss and do things uh, that matters for the countries of course uh, with assurance of uh, people I would represent that uh, you know negotiations and stuff are part of the uh, part of the deal that just must be done that's about the only time I would do anything that I would even think about doing something like this other than that no now there was all kinds of people that wanted to me to see different issues the way they have experienced them maybe or maybe also for some other issues maybe to to evaluate me maybe to um, cause anxiety of course they have tried that too um, and it's really interesting some some prompted on just how uh, dangerous it is to be close to uh, Belarus Americans were really paranoid about that uh, Kaliningrad Kaliningrad uh, uh. others on how Germany is dangerous and so on but the third one let's say nobody ever mentioned uh, and it really is when I said Germany okay there is an individual there's a Muslim here a tall guy they have exercise two rehearsals of uh, abduction rehearsals first one was to uh, to the Russia through uh, Kaliningrad that was one there was another group this, this is already stuff I have talked about then there is a, then there was this guy had talked about that's interesting because nobody mentioned Czech Republic in Czech Republic you have Miller Zeman and you have another I think Prime Minister that is not that I think he was a KGB also uh, individual was was a KGB officer 
in Soviet times and uh, is a prime minister and so on. Well, this guy took me to the Germany through the Czech Republic. He would sit me and they would sit me in the car and drive me all the way to Prague. And make no mistake, uh, it's not about the Czech people, it's just the same thing as with the Polish people. Uh, it's the government. They would, really would, if they would have to do something like this, sit you on a plane and take you to Moscow, uh, even in, if, through the Czech Republic, you know, that much about uh, where is it so safe in Poland and this and that, because they did the whole stuff. But then again, this could also suggest anxiety or something like this I would experience since due to previous MK Ultra, you know, see things that do not exist and stuff like that. No, I don't give a much damn about uh, the same thing I'm going to tell, like I told the individual two days ago. I'm not afraid of even a little bit, uh, even here to be. I was in the same room with Valerio. We were, we were in the same room for I don't know how long. First, this was the first room I was in. Uh, Valerio, really a professional, built his uh, career on MK Ultra. First was a police officer, then he became very, very active in MK Ultra, field of MK Ultra, a trainer, a professional, really, really professional. Uh, Valerio suggested on the MK Ultra that, and it's it's something I have experienced in the U.S. Okay, uh, in the U.S., what they would do is how they got me out of the U.S., I'm never going to forget the first time they got me. Uh, they got me through, they got, re, they got me through on a wheelchair. They got me on a wheelchair uh, through uh, border patrol on the airport. Where you have um, TSA, now you have TSA uh, checking people back and forth. Uh, you have this U.S. border patrol. And I remember there were this these people um, who they had uniforms. I don't know which department, but this was at the airport. And I remember they they checked the luggage and stuff. And uh, sir, do you uh, do you really want to go? I guess I was well observed and studied how I see the things. Is do you really want to go? And I would be, no, I don't want to go. And the only thing that would happen is it would be another rehearsal and another rehearsal and another rehearsal. What they basically do is they'll probably get like uh, as many rehearsals as they need till they get you through. So in this whole thing, it wouldn't even be um, Mr. Valerio, which uh, would not even participate in something like this in MK Ultra production, but he would have other people basically assisting me, uh, assisting him, and the whole thing would go as many times uh, through rehearsal in front of the officers, till eventually I would go through something like this. Probably is how I see it. MK Ultra. I was prompted to tell this by Americans, was designed to even hijack presidents, and that presidents, make sure you tell them, are not just anybody, they are intelligent people. Uh, they get people like this in and out of the country, I can tell you that, this is true. Uh, I feel comfortable saying this kind of stuff, I'm not saying this because I would be anxious again, I feel safe, I feel secure here, I do not feel like I am in danger of any kind, and why should I in the first place when I, I cannot change the circumstances? This is what I mean, and this is, this is how things are, it doesn't make uh, it doesn't make sense to me. I'm all, always only in, uh, you know, motivated only in the stuff I can change, I can have influence on. But this here, I, you cannot have. So there's no reason, uh, no reason to be anxious about this stuff. And so, um, what I was gonna say. MK Ultra was designed uh, to do this kind of stuff. The biggest problem, obviously, would not be um, even somebody that, 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 you know, it would be probably an officer, somebody who would receive a phone call uh, from somebody on top of him that would give this authorization for this kind of stuff that would happen. So uh, This is the stuff I'm not concerned with 
not even a little bit I have to tell you even even a little bit but it's something I was told to discuss about uh, by Americans they did prompt it for me to action this uh, because they will do this to you because they will get you out because uh, American staff members and culture members are really really motivated in helping me out if I would be out there with them whatever uh, just totally opposite from Donald Trump these people would go and they would look out for me and talk to the locals and ask them to in the future in helping me out if I'm gonna uh, you know in a certain situations and stuff like that and yeah it was just a, a different type of mentality really uh, concerned for as a human beings for another human being you know something I have not really uh, experienced with uh, people from uh, over there even from the country of my, no, my own where I'm from it wouldn't be any of that kind of stuff um, this morning what happened exactly this morning this morning what happened was after a few days of uh, sleep deprivation I got uh, a beautiful sleep yesterday what I got was one hour at night of the sleep then what I would do is it was bizarre at like six o'clock I came and I lay down right here and I slept here for about let's say two hours something like this it was, it was okay uh, I survived the most important is I didn't get in any kind of uh, you know physical really not even verbal confrontation with anybody the only thing I did was I packed my stuff and I left that's basically all there was uh, and don't want to have uh, the same way I mean I don't want to something I cannot change I did ask you know let me go back to that issue people from all kinds of stuff you know all kinds of backgrounds uh, but I was gonna say something else but this I'm gonna have to reserve for other video okay uh, did ask for another location uh, actually a room in this place but I also did request that asked specifically to please not transfer me from here and uh, they wouldn't transfer me from here but they also wouldn't get me any other room preferably that would be a room with another Christian whatever uh, a normal person uh, or um, a single room where I would be by myself it would just not cater they would just not assist me with that matter I'm saying this only because again this is gonna have to be I shouldn't even say that this this is this is totally other issue uh, it concerned views of people involved in this thing that had different political views that have seen as a solution different kinds of solutions and so on uh, some sided with the Russia other sided with the Germany uh, and really there was nothing in between that uh, and they would, all would want me to uh, play on their tunes the way they basically the way they have experienced the whole thing they all wanted me to see the situation through their eyes okay I don't I'm sorry I don't uh, I didn't come to Poland to see in any other uh, through any other way than through the eyes of what Polish persons sh should see the things as to what this nation have gone through because this is what I want to become uh, part of this country is part of this people this is my goal this is my ultimate goal uh, and so that that's not something that that had a lot of effect on me and I promise you it will not have a lot of effect on me even I reconsider the whole thing about complaining to European Union court I'm not gonna do it yet uh, I did few times reconsider it and you know every time I come it, a solution really pops up who wants me to do this stuff why these things are happening here and uh, who sees what option is preferred option and of course when you request help from somebody from outside of the 
country, whether this is uh, this would be in the Russia or in in over there in so-called European Union, uh, then you kind of uh, give the preferential to the government to deal with these people under the table, and that means that the other party actually benefits. You're asking help from because they're not going to go on your side. They're not going to side with you, and so on and so forth. There's a whole million bunch of issues involved in this. Uh, regardless, this morning, what happened this morning? Uh, I got enough sleep. Wonderful. Uh, I did mention the talk I had two days earlier about this individual. The individual is okay. I get woke up at five o'clock thanks to my uh, Russian roommate from Tajikistan. Uh, have his uh, alarm clock ready for five o'clock. Gets me up with his beautiful music. Uh, I get down about fifteen minutes to um, to the kitchen. To six o'clock. That's where I go to uh, prepare myself a coffee. And voila, there is already Mr. Valerio uh, right there sits and is looking at me you know salutes me in a in a in a friendly way in like understanding way and of course that i kind of a strive toward being friendly with everybody with as many people as possibly i can be friendly i try to be and so um but i'm not gonna trade uh you know friendliness can also be a weakness you know misery just loves company is how i see it uh, I cannot trade any quality of my own uh, because of some any kind of issues. It doesn't matter how much I'm affected by uh, issues. Uh, the important, the most important part is to stay uh, yourself. No matter you know, <laughs> no matter what they say or whatever. This is the most important part. Uh, this is the most important part. You know, if I can get some more, if I can get a smile, if I can get a uh, hello from people, that's a good thing. That's always welcome. And especially for this holiday season, Mr. Valerio was so, um, he want to say soft, whatever. Uh, he was kind of looking to make a contact with me. And okay. And so I, I said to myself, why not? This morning I said to myself, why not? Uh, we did not kind of get along too well because of what happened at first. You know, it was this incident with him and it was not really peaceful, this whole thing. But then I said to myself, uh, maybe he just had to do that stuff, you know, to get me to another location because of what knows he's here to do his stuff, to do his job. And uh, really, all in all, even here with this roommate, I'm up. I didn't lose much really uh he did entertain with his issues and so why not uh why not to be he's away from belarus he's also not in a very pleasant situation uh i'm bitching about this place he is i think under a lot of pressure why not to give him a smile uh you know why not to trade word whatever be nice and so we started to converse about uh polish statistic statistics uh, involving a pay. We discussed uh, a minimum wage issue, uh, average pay, and it came to uh, Polish language skills that involved uh, words, uh, permission to work. A permission to work in Polish as we pozwala, pozwalanie na pracę, na pracę, that's exactly what the translator did. But it could be also La Praza, Zesvalonia, and so on. And I think that Mr. Valeria knows very well uh, about this Polish word. But uh, nevertheless, he would go and he would check one on his Google Translator. Uh, then, uh, of course, this word would pop up. Okay. And then what he would do is he would suggest that Google is crazy because... Uh, in line that this place right under but not on the same screen but uh, you know when you enter uh, many translations in a google translate uh, google translate will keep those translations keep those words in 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 separate lines under the latest uh, translation you have acquired from translator so just before this uh, translation, 
Mr. Valerio entered the words inside in this Google Translator. Uh, keep on the target. Now, this could be very confusing stuff, not only because he was uh, suggesting that this is what Google Translator uh, gestured as a translation, that Google is crazy and stuff like that, uh, but because of the words itself. These are quite challenging words, and I kind of figured out all through. I didn't confront him immediately. Uh, that's obviously just because I, to me, it's like, I was like this. I was thinking about, hey, you can go and you can think whatever you want. I already know exactly what Google uh, meant and what you did. But then I kind of figure out there might be people who actually might think that the two of us are signaling something to one another. Like I said, a lot they hear this place. If you go inside of the bureau, somehow uh, residents get to hear everything you say inside of the bureau. Uh, this video, this video is redone. This video was done in the morning. And like I said, uh, I, I wouldn't have much peace. Uh, and somebody just wanted me to come up with this video uh, for a bunch of reasons I have not mentioned in in, 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 in original video. Okay, so, so this one, it might not be exactly uh, as this first original version in the morning. Okay, so uh, I don't know how much this is going to be beneficial for anybody. Uh, for me, it's important to clarify these issues. Okay. So I kind of realized this, and so I came up with this video uh, to explain uh, what the situation really was, that I was not even going to go and bother myself recording stuff. Then I decided to. Um, and then I decided to give a few extra words, uh, explanations in respect to this whole thing. Uh, how this this issues connect interconnect with one another, uh, so that somebody is not going to be thinking about that either I am experiencing some kind of uh, anxiety issues or I'm doing this stuff I'm talking about uh, interacting with the people like this to um, because I would have something going on because. Uh, So that I would confuse, and I would not want, of course, anybody to get confused about uh, how I view, how I see things. As, okay, so one thing is for me to be here inside in this place, uh, basically interact with the people, uh, preferentially on a, in, a, in, a, in a good manner, in a good, uh, friendly way, as much as possible. Uh, and then something completely different, uh, not that I would want to be enemy with them or whatever, but uh, I have a different approach for outside of the center. I would not interact with these people, absolutely would not interact with them. They are not circle of people I would want to surround myself with, uh, unless I would be in a situation that would uh, require me to represent uh, a people, a state, whatever, my views uh, on a different level, something like that. I'm not in those. I'm not in uh, in those circumstances, uh, and I am frankly not striving toward those circumstances. For me, the main thing is uh, a court uh, basically gets compensated uh, for the damages these people have caused me. Uh, court, so it can help people that suffered uh terrible uh there was a lot of people that, that suffered terrible fate there was a lot of people that maybe worse than i suffered there were there were people sorry about that there were people that 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 uh is when i think about this place here when i'm here when i start to think about these people uh, it's actually hard, it's really, really hard to imagine, it's really, really hard to believe that uh, the MK Ultra nightmare, whenever I was brought back and they told me about this person, what they have done to this person, they told me about another person, 
Um, it's hard to imagine really that this was reality but then again at the same time for me it's like so relieving to be here with these people to share my faith with them uh, it's actually so difficult to explain this kind of issue so no for this for that matter there's nothing I wouldn't do for these people I will remain open-minded when it comes to all this stuff uh, I think the biggest mark that human can leave in this world is to, to do something for the people. I think there is no bigger reward than that. And so in that aspect, uh, you never know what life can turn, in which direction the whole thing can turn. But no, for now, I don't have intention to go to become a drink body, to, to go in a bar with these people or uh, whatever meet, whatever place and so on and so forth. I have no intention. I have no intention to go to Belarus, not Kaliningrad. I'm going to repeat the words. Americans bitch me. Uh, from Czech Republic, we went to the Germany with this Muslim here. Uh, I have no intention to go to the Germany, not even to the Czech Republic, to the beautiful Czech Republic or Slovakia. Uh, <laughs> I just want to stay here in the center of the Poland as much as funny this may sound for now. That's, uh, and I have a problem with this would be just forever. That's okay with me. That's all I want. And for me, preferred option, he has a court option. Uh, no no other no 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 nothing nothing private nothing nothing no meetings uh unofficial meetings and stuff like this i am not interested in that i don't need this okay there was a time i could use stuff like this too but what the heck who needs that anyways i don't uh, so that's how i see things as uh, just going about my business really um is there anything else I want to mention? No, I am going to reserve the stuff about uh, other stuff, how people wanted me to see things as maybe a little bit is going to be mixed with some other stuff. I didn't even talk about this place. And this stuff I was bitched about and bitched not to talk about. Uh, I might just talk about that. I... I am waiting, waiting all the options. Uh, today uh, I did post something on a new site, but this video was redone and also had two hours of Polish language in the school here with the best teacher in the world. So if this means anything to anyone, uh, there was not so much time left. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna upload this thing and go and learn some Polish. That's all there is today for January the 2nd of 2019 is where. Wish again everybody Happy New Year wherever you are. Thanks for watching this video and Happy New Year to you. Till next time. Bye bye.